what great weather we're having, eh, guys? Yeah, what great weather we're having. Hi, Henry. Where is your law now? I wouldn't be surprised if he just ran down the line at 25 miles an hour trying to run away from you. It's a hard life for a locomotive, isn't it? You spend all those years being played with by children. And at your very old age, your life gets ruined when you look like that. Covered in confetti. You're never going to be taken as a serious engine again. I feel sorry for you, Thomas. I do. You are dead! Not a big surprise! Let two, let four, let six, the dead, all killed by Thomas the Tank, who now has taken over Siren Head to ruin that. Oh, ow, my throat. Oh my goodness, I hurt my throat that. Ow. I don't have any water near me either. Oh, great. <gasps> Look, my favourite show is starting. Thomas and the Soulmates, season 95. Existence is Torment. Documentary from the island of Sodor. Hello! Hi! Hello! Hello! Wait, Dad, did you fix the multiverse? Uh, oh, um, oh, oh, well, uh, Dot, oh, well, but what I mean is. What you mean is you forgot to fix it, didn't you, Dan? Um, oh, well, um, well, what, what I mean is... Oh, so that's how Trap Master faces are made. You know what, I'm gonna make another meme, okay? Head. Comment head. Let's make a meme again. Head. It went well with Dove from the last video. Hashtag head. Comment head. Head. See, what I don't get about this image is I don't know what exactly is cursed. Apart from the fact it's not the magic railway, it's the magic tunnel. I don't know what this engine is called. Why it is fuel logs. And yes, I know some engines run on logs. Bash, dash, and for an end. Lighter the log and locals. But what's scaring me about this image is Thomas's face. What is he so worried about? Thomas is so 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 You see him, my dudes. You don't know the struggles of a true gamer. Thomas, what on earth happened to you? All right, who created Among Us? Who created Among Us? Apart from the fact that not many people play it anymore, I don't think. There's not many YouTube videos going around about it. I want to know who made it. Because I will play your game again. I'll, I have done before. Very, when I started. If you add a Thomas skin to the game. Right? Is that too hard to ask? Thomas and friends is Thomas sauce. and friends is sauce. Thomas 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 and friends is sauce. Oh! Whoa! Oh! oh no! Oh no! I have hands! No! It can't be! No! I have hands! I don't have puppies anymore! No! 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 Oh! 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 My goodness! Oh! I'm gonna be seasick! Boy! The document on how Thomas the Tank Engine became a monster. He was a happy little tank engine. Then, he, along with his face, a worm creature came out of his boiler, which is where he had been habit ha making a habit of it. And then, once he was out, he dropped the face and he looked like the ghost character you get from Halloween in the mask costumes, or whatever they're called. And that is how Thomas became a monster. Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> I never meant to push him off the tracks. He never forgave me. Well, today is Friday in California. What? Shoot! Gucci gang! It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything. Gucci gang! 
Lego, I am so ready. This may be the best set you have ever made. For those of you who don't know, I did actually collect Lego for a very long time. I ended up with seven hand solos. Yeah, I don't understand how I did, because I'm not an elite Lego collector. I used to be though. Fun fact about me. Thomas, a tank engine, you have finally joined the dark side. You ever heard the phrase, beggars can't be choosers? Well, I wanted a 5 inch gauge live steam locomotive and I thought about making Thomas. I made the wooden Thomas that I made a video about a while back. But if I could, I would actually take this. Take off the face and make it better. <laughs> what is up with his face? Oh, this is difficult. Does Thomas run over his driver? Which, actually, how would that work? Because that means he would drive. I don't know. Or would he run over the kids and the parents? I mean, actually, why is Thomas making the decision? I, I mean, this could this could be easy. So Topham Hat shouldn't be choosing this in the first place. Thomas could just stop. But we're talking about Thomas and friends here. Thomas will choose the middle path, derail, and then Ringo Starr will say, luckily, nobody was hurt. First thing, all engines go, do not get any ideas. Second, no, 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 no. <laughs> didn't someone do this for Lightning McQueen once? Yeah, there's a reason why I didn't sleep for a week after seeing that image. How long do you think I won't sleep after seeing this one, hmm? We are oh, Venom. Venom. Or, or carnage. carnage. And there I was, battling the storm in my brand new locomotive. A 4 10 10 2 locomotive. This was the strongest locomotive in our fleet and it battled the storms well. Only it was not aerodynamic, for the block wall front of the engine did not do well in winds. We derailed many of times. Durdum. Durdum, 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 Hey, hey, yo, yo. Do you need an engine? Need scrapping? I'll make sure to scrap them real good, nice into fine metal, ready to be reused for diesels. Come to me anytime. I take payment in coal and water. Can I ask, because I don't notice, do my episodes mainly contain me just yelling into the mic? How about this, we'll tone it down a bit. Oh, what do we have here? Some fake Thomas and Friends train games. We have Train Driver, Game for Kids. But it's got a picture of a knockoff Thomas on the front, okay? Call from Thomas.exe, Fake Call. I'm glad they said Fake Call. I'm just glad they clarified that. Puzzle Thomas Train Games. Oh, it's multiple games in one. Oh, that's a good deal, that. Race Thomas Adventure. Mm. Tank Engine Thomas, EDM Rush. What a unique ra name, despite the fact it has nothing to do with Thomas and Friends. Lady, what? Thomas Mod, thank goodness. Toy Locomotive Mod. Yeah, let's just have a look at some of the images of what these look like. So here we have Train Thomas Traffic Race. That... That, that is a mouthful. It's free. I see Gordon. A random kid in a forest. It contains ads. And the thumbnail for the, eye, the icon, sorry, is Philip. What am I looking at? I did not yell. Just what am I looking at? And here we have Tank Engine Thomas Fast Hop. It also contains ads. It's free. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, I see a Thomas character in the icon, but the game looks like a generic game. It's a boy! Thomas, hydro dipped in aluminium. I quite like it. Ah, uh, I see what you're doing. I see what's going on here. This is Endo 1 or something like that from FNAF World. Are you trying to wear a Thomas mask to cover up your identity, mate? No, I see right through you. I'm a Five Nights at Freddy's fan too. I have a life-size marionette in my workshop here with me. I'm not exactly new to Five Nights at Freddy's. I know who you are. Stop hiding behind that Thomas mask. Hey, you backed your trade into mine. Insurance ain't gonna cover this. Me 
Mister, why do you look like that? Oh, it's simple. I have no speed control. I slammed through the buffers and into the end of the station and completely squished my face. Yes, yeah, son, we're not getting on that train. Why? I'm a reliable train. I have no brakes. Ho, ho, no. Hank is strong, I'll give you that. But sometimes there's just no need. Oh, look, a completely innocent steam locomotive being welded apart, used to have its metal used on more modern diesel locomotives. You know, this was a completely rare sight that happened a few hundred thousand times in the UK alone, where they did this to many steam trains that some didn't even get welded into pieces, they just got left for scrap. Yeah, you're seeing something very rare here. Congratulations. Editor, zoom in, please. Shooting. No, bit more, please. Is that not big enough? Can you zoom in some more, please? Okay. Okay, one more time. Are you sure? This is getting quite big now. Just do it, please. I, I do pay you. Trains, you know. That doesn't feed my family and kids. I don't really care. Just zoom in. Okay. Ah! <laughs> he has a face! Ah! <laughs> so... Where do I begin? Seriously, I don't know what to make of this image. You know what, I'm not even going to try. Can Just comment below what you think is going on in this image. Because I've lost so many brain cells making these videos, I'm just out of ideas. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I may be an old time, but I'm a happy engine. And I look up at the old buildings happy inside, thinking, I've seen these structures grow, and I will live with these structures for the rest of my engine days. Okay, everyone, serious note, I'm going to show you some secret behind-the-scenes content of Thomas and Friends. You ready? This is the concept design for Thomas's tank engine. He was very different. He was supposedly supposed to be a four-wheeled engine with pistons. Oh, my goodness. Even I can't believe this. My eyes are melting at the sight. This is some rare footage. I'm going to get rid of it off the screen now because you can only see it for that amount of time. Any longer, then you're a criminal. Elon Musk. Old Spiteful. Elon Musk, Old Spiteful. What's the difference exactly, facial-wise? I'd be making the same face myself, Thomas, if I looked down and I realised I had a different wheel basis, I'd just be like, Wait, what on earth? So, funny story, I actually did use this image um, a few episodes back, just not with the upside-down tongue-sticking-out locomotive face, which brightens up the image i've still got the person in the top right hacking my webcam though i know you're there if you're watching this go away conductor shut up me and the boys are trying to watch some good old football is that supposed to be dr phil if so that is creepy yet very imaginative ah oh, gordon i knew you'd go to the dark side eventually i had no hope for you to be honest Oh, hang on a second, there's something in my throat, just give me a sec. It was nothing, I'm fine. What on earth is that image? Whenever in doubt when making an engine's face, look at Roblox. You're welcome. Henry the Great and Magnificent Flying Elephant! Yes, yes, I am a very splendid red engine. I've got the smug face to prove it all. Wherever you see me, oh, I'm smug. Yes, I'm James the Red Engine and I've got a smug face, boy. Since when did Millie get so posh? And when did trains get hair? Or hands? Or a purse? Oh, I've been reincarnated to an engine. And I can't move my hands. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. But each your soul out through his eyes all day long. Was it though? Was it? 
let's see, Oliver's done it, then Sir Topham Hatt, now Gordon, comment who's gonna be next, cause I swear in the next few videos I do of this, there is gonna be this image again with another character on it, I assure you, and any of those who do submit these images, Please be one of the people to do it. I'd like to have like a montage of all the engines that have burned my car. What the? What on? What on earth? What? Sit. What? What is that? I mean, what on earth? I'm. I can't get any words out. What? What on earth? Before we continue, just look at this image. Have a deep think, and think to yourself. This is what we could have got. The engine's faces could have taken up the front, the whole front of a locomotive. I bet you will never complain about the faces you get today when you could have had this. Serious question right now, if you added this to a Bachman Thomas a tank engine, would he be stronger? Right. Let's talk business. See, look, proof. Whenever you have in doubt about a face to put on the front of your engine, always go to Roblox. Is it that hard these days? Apparently so, because I still haven't done it myself yet. First off, I do not watch anime. I'm not a Pokemon fan, and I'm not saying I'm against Pokemon, because I know people like it. But that's just my view on anime. I'm not a fan of it. But I have been told this is from an anime, yet I still do not know the name of it. Please comment below what this anime is, because although I do not like anime, I would like to at least know. I mean, like, everybody would like to know. I mean, if a kid just points over there and says, Hey, what's that green caterpillar called again? That's Percy, you idiot. You do not call him that. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Ari Air Balloon Got touched by a pinprick Burst and now he's dead Falling down to earth Luckily there was no passengers He was never seen again And he's out there somewhere Wishing to be high in the sky. Mmm, tasty. According to the person who sent me this, this is one of the old thumbnails for their videos, and I don't want to take Mick out of someone's hard work. Instead, I recommend you find this video and go like it. Be positive. I know this is called Cursed Thomas videos, but there's no harm in being a bit positive every now and again, am I right? We can all relate to this. We all have a little drawer where we have spare parts of mold trains. Trapmaster, Take and Play, Hornby, Backman, we all have an area like this. We have sacrificed the Thomas Ari colours. And this person's just looking at it all casually thinking, what on earth are they talking about? Absolutely horrific. Utterly disgusting. A waste of plastic material. Why is their existence here? It is disgusting and futile to exist. Hey, keep it down. I said you can live in there, but I don't want you making noise whilst I'm editing, okay? Pack it in. All right, welcome to TTTE Wrestling Arena, and we want you to decide who's going to win, the Thomas the Tank Engine Army or the Minis Army, my dreaded enemy. I'm all in for the Thomas and Friends Army, despite the fact that there are Minis in there. I want you to comment below who you think is going to win this fight, so I'll let you know at the end of the video, okay? Let the round begin! So I did actually speak to the person who owns this Scar Lowy and said that something about it maybe not running. I did actually offer to help fix it, but they actually said that they like it as it is. I half agree because it looks like a scrap locomotive and could be like a hover engine of the Scar Lowy engine who lost his face. 
Each to their own, I guess. But I must say, though, it is definitely cursed and creepy. I like the weathering you've done on it, though. You need to teach me that technique. Is this you guys trying to tell me to join Discord or something? Thomas had entered the back rooms. He did not know how to escape. What was going through the person's head when they decided, you know what, I'll have Thomas the Tank Engine, actually a worm with caterpillar long creepy legs, be living inside of a steam locomotive and only the face sticks out. What goes through your head to think of something so unique in a nice way of saying it? Because ever since I saw this, I've never been able to look at Thomas again. Because this is always in the back of my mind. He's actually a worm. A worm. No, no, move along, move along. They turned Thomas into a steam generator. So have you ever wondered how the Reverend Audrey came up with the Islander Sodor map? What he did is he got a picture of Peter Sam, I think it was, the person who sent in this image, and distorted the image. I think when the Reverend Audrey did it, he spilled a bit of water onto it to make the colours bleach, and he thought, wait a minute, that looks like an island. I'll make the trains live there. Oh, how I love the Thomas fandom. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have an RC controller that makes diesel noises. Sorry. I'll give you this though, you do look like Gru. I'm having a bad, bad day. It's about time Diesel gets his way. I'm Great Western, and I'm going to eat you. I'm Duncan, and I like rocking and rolling. When I can't do it no more, because the thin controller is too thin to understand. How to make Thomas toys even more cute. Step one, squish him. Step two, result. Ow, that squeezing process hurts a lot. Did it hurt you too, Henrietta? Henrietta? You killed her! Walter. So you're Walter. I feel like that would have gone better to an RWS character than to you. That chin is the biggest chin I have ever seen. So big, in fact, that his eyebrows wiped off. No. No, it can't be. No. Not. Not a lamp iron. No. No. I'm scared of the... No. 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 Just stay away. Don't hurt me, please. This is what happens when you leave faces out in the sun to dry. It melts. Well, you think it's bad for you? How do you think he's feeling right now? Okay. Terence Stonehoff needs some contact lenses there. Why is he cross-eyed? Does he like Christmas that much? Ow! If you're not careful, photo editor does take over after a while, you know. Then you just randomly start stretching Thomas and friends' faces for no reason. If you can't tell, that's one of these instances. So what's cursed about this image exactly? I mean, if Percy was wearing the sombrero, then maybe he'll be a little cursed. But right now he's just staring at it like it's about to possess him once it goes on his funnel. I think we'll go with the latter on that one. And I'm free falling. I'm free falling. Free falling. Ah, uh, yes, I was definitely looking up Gage One Gordon. Yeah. You messed up, Internet. Ah, uh, you got it right now. Yeah, this is Gage One Gordon. And in the next image, Thomas is questioning why Gordon looks like that. Ah, oh, hello, Alfred. Nice to finally meet you. I see on your resume that you're a murder engine. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that happens on the Island of Soda is fine. I've lost the urge to make a proper smile, but yeah. I definitely don't feel pain when I derail, nor do my emotions get hurt. Yeah, the Island of Soda is a great place. 
<laughs> the cranes haven't been replaced and the chains are weak from all the engines they've lifted. We're a safe railway, yes. <laughs> ah yes, Backman Peter Sam, yeah. One cent?! Oh great, yeah, it was a virus, yeah. Um, yeah, and no. If I had a fart stuck that bad, I would let go of it. I would not hold on to it to keep my dignity. Just so my cheeks would turn green. Just let go, Henry. It's a lost cause, man. Ah! 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 FBI, open up! Ah, physics. How I hate you. You made no sense. So, talking to Handel, is Conductor165 one of the best YouTubers you've ever seen? Ho ho. No. Ah yes, Thomas the Tank Engine in a Subway. Not getting a BLT. How sad. And this is Sodor Fallout if they fall back. James would be pink and Thomas looks like he would have been a war tank engine. Oh, Sodor Fallout, you changed the Thomas fandom forever. Wait, where's Annie and Clarabelle? Oh no. Have they become that old that they painted them to old slow coaches? Oh no! Oh wait a minute, my uncle's looking again. Right, I'm just gonna hide, I'll be back in a minute. I heard that! Uh oh. That says 12 Ultra Metra. How about this? 12 Ultra Metra. I like that. I could go on for hours about how bad all legends go is, but I'll give them this. They kept to the same wheelbase for Annie and Clarabelle. Thank you, you did something right. I shall ascend my children. I leave Skarloey to take my place. Goodbye. Mamma mia. That's a not a good. Mamma -ma Mario. Mamma mia. You see, when becoming Sodo Fallout engines, it's a tough procedure. They have to get the breakdown crane and shove it into engines' faces to get them hurt and damaged. They don't feel the process, but yeah, it's not a pleasant one. So let's just keep this image to this video. Unless you want to spread it and tell the word, well, tell the world how Sodo Fallout's made. I won't stop you. Oh, brother and son. Oh, how sweet that they finally get along after many fights. What on earth is this? A science experiment not created by us. Whiff is a good character. I like Whiff. Do you really have to go and ruin him by giving him Billy's teeth? You're committing a federal crime there. I love you, Gail. I love you too, Ernest. Yeah, this is not my railway. Nah. We just have a lot of crashes on my railway. It's a bit different. I am going to laugh here. Because apart from the fact that the A3 has the old man's cap. Look at the diesel in the background. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, there's trouble on the main line. What seems to be the issue? Yeah, a tunnel has started to attack one of our engines. Oh, well, that's a bit of rubbish. Make sure my load gets there on time. I've got a lot of trains to deal. Illegally. Wait, excuse me, what? You didn't hear anything. Get to me now! I don't know why, but I quite like this engine. I like how on the front it says Audrey, but what's getting me is why it looks like there's a claw around the face that could be mistaken for beard and hair. There's been an incident report of sleeping gas canisters falling out of Jeremy the aeroplane. They're affecting the railway everywhere and all trains are now falling asleep. The railway is now in huge delays. As if the Thomas monstrosities couldn't get any worse. I stand corrected. Okay, James is looking really good. 
Henry, okay. Yeah, let's just not talk about Thomas. So at the end of, um, I believe it was part two of Curse Thomas and Friends, Devious Diesel killed me. Here's the clip. And a viewer actually felt sorry for me that he killed me. So decided to beat him up for me. Good on ya! And thank you, I appreciate it highly. There should come a point when designing Thomas characters that you've just got to say, okay, we're drifting too far from reality here. When do we come back? But you see, what happens is they get too lost in rea in fantasy that it's like a maze to get back to reality. So for future reference, don't go down that path. You may never come back. Okay, Henry, you are officially moving out. You've been hit by, you've been struck by, truck. Thomas is only making this face for one reason. If you have not liked and subscribed yet, do it. Please, for his sake and mine. I see someone had a tooth problem, and they saw Gordon as a chew toy. He half looks like Salty with an eye patch now. So everyone, message from me. Thank you for watching to the end. It's been a very long video, I understand that. However, the support I've been getting from these videos is amazing, and I very much appreciate it. All these people here too, if it wasn't for them, this video wouldn't be possible. So I would happily recommend to go check out the Twitter account, the YouTube channel, and give them the same support that you've been showing me. I appreciate everything that everyone's been doing here, and me, I'm just the editor and the comment tier person i mean i've spent nearly four hours editing this video so i hope that this entertainment has been worth it for all of you please make sure to like subscribe it 